Hello Matayong 5 students! It's me again, Teacher Lito, your teacher in Physical Science 1. This video is about atoms and ions. Keep exploring, enjoy learning. What is the difference between an atom and an ion? An atom is the smallest unit of matter, while ion is an atom that is electrically charged can be positively charged or negatively charged. These are the examples of atom. Aluminum atom, magnesium atom, oxygen atom, and sodium atom. An example of ions are positive sodium ion, positive beryllium ion, and negative hydrogen ion. The number of protons and electrons are always the same in atom. The number of protons and electrons are unequal in ion. Sometimes it loses electron and sometimes it gains electron. In terms of electrical charge, atoms are electrically neutral, while the ion are either positively charged and negatively charged because an atom can either lose electrons or gain electrons this is now how to find proton neutron and electron numbers of atoms and ion this is now how you are going to find proton neutron and electron numbers of atoms Let's have here an example. Aluminum. As you can see, the two numbers in the upper part and the lower part, 27, that is the mass number. 13, that is the atomic number. Now, what is mass number? Mass number here. Mass number is the average number of protons and neutron. So we can say that mass number is equal to proton plus neutron. Next, the atomic number. Atomic number is the number of protons here atomic number which is 13 is the atomic number it is proton and sometimes proton and electron are always or sometimes the same so let's find out so based from this example proton what is proton What's the number of proton here in the example that we have in aluminum? So proton is here. It's 13. So what about electron? Again, atomic number, that is the proton. What about electron? So so as I told you, in this case, in finding the proton and electron in an atom, they are always the same. So if the proton is 13, we can say that electron is also 13. They are the same. Okay, here, electron. Next, what about neutron? Here, neutron it's 14 why is it 14 okay this is the formula atomic mass which is 27 minus atomic number what is the atomic number 13 
So, how many? It's 14. So, that's how you are going to find the neutron number in that atomic or in that atom. So, proton, we have 13. That is the atomic number. Electron, 13 because they are the same. And neutron, 14. Because the formula is mass number mass number minus atomic number equals neutron so so class don't be con confused here in the periodic table you will see the format like this so here two format that we have this is what you see in the periodic table or in your pe periodic table so number 13 that is the atomic number it is uh, placed in that part and then the 26.982 that is the mass number which is being rounded to the whole number so that's why you see it's 27 so let's have here another example so we have magnesium so based from the example again 24 that is the mass number 12 that is the atomic number so proton is here that is 12 so again electron and proton is the same so here answer is 12 so what about neutron in order to get the neutron you have to subtract the mass number by atomic number so 24 minus 12 so we have 12 that is the number of protons electrons and neutrons in magnesium so let's have another example so what about here na what is na that is sodium so proton it's 11 it's the atomic number electron obviously that is also 11 what about neutron so we have to subtract again we have 23 23 minus 11 in order to get the neutron so we have 12 so, uh, neutron is 12 so that is how we are this that that's how we get the number of proton electron and neutron in an atom and now that you know already how to find the proton neutron and electron numbers of an atom let's jump in on finding the proton neutron and electron numbers of an ion but before that let's define first what ion is what is an ion an ion is an atom or a group of atom with a charge there are two types of ion the positive ion and the negative ion 
an atom sometimes loses or gain electron. In that case, the atom can be positive ions when it loses electron and negative ions when it gains electron. So let's have here an, an example. Positive ion. So we have sodium ion. As you can see, you can see the plus sign that indicates that this atom or this ion is positive. So how are we going to get the proton, electron, and neutron? In the previous topic, proton and electron are the same. But now, here in finding the proton, electron, and neutron, in an ion, proton, protons and electrons are not the same. They are unequal. So positive ion. So what is the proton? Proton is the same. It's 11. And what about the electron? This is how we are going to get the electron. We have here proton number minus charge. So we have here one, one charge. So what we'll do is 11, 11 minus, minus the charge. There's no number, but it's auto automatically one. So it's one. So we have 10. 10 electron. So the... What about the neutron? So neutron, it's the same. We have to subtract 23 by 11 so we have 12 so positive ion or cations are formed when an atom loses electron as you can see in the previous topic proton and electron are the same they are the same 11 but now it loses loses electron so instead of 11 it became 10 so here we just stop it can you see proton and electron are the same and here proton and neutron are constant they still the same here in atom and here in ion are the same so this is how we get the electron we subtract proton number minus the charge we have here one minus so it's 10 let's have here another example so what about negative ion so negative ion or anions are formed when an atom gains electron. We have here example. Magnesium ion. So let's see. This is the same with positive. Positive ion. So let's answer this one. So proton it's 12. Then the neutron. Let's answer first the neutron. Neutron 12, 24 minus 12, it's 12. Proton 12. So here the electron again 
Let's not forget that the proton number minus the charge. How many is the charge? It's 2. So 12 minus 2. That is the electron. So, so therefore, the electron. So 10 is the number of electron because 12, which is the number of proton minus the number of charge equals 10. So 10 is the number of electron. So again, positive ions or cations are formed when an atom loses electron. So here, instead of 12 electron, it loses. So it became 10. So for the next example, we have here negative ion, chlorine ion. So what is negative ion? Negative ion or anions are formed when an atom gains electrons. Again, as what I told you, there are two types of ions positive ions and the negative ions the positive ions ions they loses electron while here in negative ions they gain electrons in this example chlorine ion the proton 17 electron well, let's answer first the neutron neutron is 35 minus 17 so we have here 18 neutron so what about electron how can we get the number of electron if here in the previous example which is positive electron we deduct we minus so here we add we add we have 17 the number of proton plus one plus one so we have 18 18 electron instead of 17 proton 17 electron 17 it add one so it became 18 electron the, the neutron gains gains an electron so it became 18. So that is an ion, positive and negative ions. 